Our next guest is a work health and safety expert and executive director of the Mindful Risk Group, James Ritchie. Good evening. G'day, Tom. How are you? Well, I'm good. Are you seeing, you know, Christmas parties decline? Like, it, you know, more and more companies saying, you know what, we're just not going to have one this year? Uh, look, I, I think, Tom, unfortunately, the answer would be yes, that we're, we're probably witnessing the slow death of, of the office Christmas party for a number of different reasons, probably potentially also driven a little bit by the, the work from home slash pandemic. Yeah, of course, of course. Mm. Uh, so, all right, so so the reasons we've got, so we've got work from home, we've got money, as in, you know, money's too tight to mention, and then yeah. we've got, you know, the risk of people having a few too many drinks and saying or doing things that they shouldn't. Yeah, look, I think I think probably a, a, a pivotal factor has been the, the passing of the respect at work laws over the last 12 months and then they've also combined with what they call this is a bit of a mouthful the psychosocial code of practice related to work health and safety tom which which kind of effectively puts employees in the crosshairs of being responsible for almost anything that happens at a at a work christmas party yeah can i say like when i was young and first entering the workforce i thought the office christmas party was fantastic i mean it was the 1980s and the alcohol flowed fairly liberally and it was just seen as a bit of a night out as I've got older, I, I just have very little desire to attend them. Yeah, yeah. Look, and I, I think, you know, sarcastically, I think a lot of organisations just look at this ever-increasing ever, ever increasing compliance burden that they, they face every year and they've kind of just, a lot of them gone, look, Christmas parties aren't within their risk appetite anymore, a little bit like their, the reward isn't worth the risk, potentially. Right. So you, you think, you think it, as, as, a, as a thing, it's on the way out. Will it disappear completely? Oh, look, I, I think, you know, Aussies love to to kind of, you know, uh, make fun of whinges or, or sooks or that, that type of thing. And I think I would hate to see that it totally dies out. But I think the unfortunate reality of this relatively paternal policymaking environment a lot of us live in or feel like we live in these days means that particularly big organisations in, yeah, as you mentioned, financial services, they've just got too much too much at stake if something goes wrong, but I think a lot of them have certainly removed alcohol, we've seen. That would yeah. be the big, the big change. And then, as you noted, um, a lot of them are actually just cancelling the Christmas party altogether. All right, uh, Christmas Grinch lives. All right, thank you, James. James Ritchie there, work health and safety expert and executive director of the Mindful Risk Group. 